Now that we've generated the entities associated with the tables in our database, we're going to generate the context to associate the DB sets for our person class and address class. So now let's go to our entities folder right here. And in some cases you want to separate this, you can do that as well. But in this case, I'm just going to put it in the entities folder. Let's click add new class. And let's go down here and let's change this to application db context. So once we have application db context, we need to inherit from a library associated with the Microsoft.entity framework core library. So let's come in here and let's put db context. And once we have that, it asks us if there's a namespace we need to incorporate. So let's put here using Microsoft.entity framework core. Once we have that, now we can develop our constructor to associate the different options for it. So let's do CTRO, tab, tab. Now we have our actual constructor right here. And one thing we want to incorporate here is the DB context options. And we want to associate that to our own type, which is our application database context. And then we can put right here any type so let's just say options and then we want to inherit from a base class to associate options for our parameter type so once we have that and that's associated inside of our constructor let's go over here and let's actually create two properties associated with the database sets for our address and person class so we're going to say prop tab tab and we're going to make this db set. And inside a db set, we're going to first associate person. And then right here, we're going to say that this is persons. Next item we're going to associate in our db set, prop tab tab. We want another db set type. Once we have that there, then we can come over here we can make this an address type and we could say addresses so now that we have both of those items to associate inside of our entities folder and our database context is created we go to our startup.cs file in our startup.cs file remember that add database context and we have the type associated right here that we need to associate so we come in here and we put application db context now when we run the command line to associate a migration for our project now we will have the services dot add db context injected and it's going to the type of our application db context class file and it's utilizing sql server configuration data connection that we had in our app settings.json we'll generate the model associated with our entities inside of our SQL Server local database. So in the next lecture, we're actually going to implement the commands associated with generating our model in our DB context to associate in our local SQL Server database. So right now we have already created our entities for person and address. We have application DB context to associate the two database set types inside of our startup.cs. We have our database context being injected and using the options to associate with the use SQL Server and we're associating the configuration settings to our default connection in our app settings folder right here. So now that we have all of this set up we're gonna go ahead in the next lecture and generate our database schema associated in SQL Server.